Hey, how's it going everyone? This is am here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at advanced filters on the X-T30. So this is advanced filter one and advanced filter two. They're essentially filters that you can apply to your photography. So as you can see, advanced filter one is on toy effect. And then you can go over to advanced filter two, which is going to be the blurry effect for the top and the bottom. These are the default advanced filters that you can use and you can easily change them. So if you go into the menu system, you go ahead and go to the camera icon and you go to the drive settings. And in here you have advanced filter one and advanced filter two. So if you go in, and you select through these as you can see there's a bunch of filters that you can go ahead and apply through you can go ahead and scroll through them and see if you like any of the filters obviously fujifilms likes these advanced filters so definitely check through them maybe you'll find one that you'd like for you know some of your easier photography one interesting thing that i do want to show you is that when you go into advanced filter one you can actually see a preview of what that filter does but when you actually go into advanced filter two, you actually go into a list view in which you can see all of the names on there. It does not give you a preview. Now, in terms of using these advanced filters, there's really not all that much to talk about. All you have to do is you just select one of the filters, take a picture, and it's going to apply that filters onto your photography. So it's very simplistic to use, and there's only a limited set of filters that's built into the camera. One of the things that you'll probably notice is that most people really don't talk about these advanced filters filters because they don't really find them useful because they're quite limited and that's something that I do want to discuss for a few moments before ending this video which is Fujifilms really needs to do a better job of actually extending the type of advanced filters that they can use one of the things that I would love to see is having their smartphone app being able to download new filters onto these cameras via either the SD card or any type of internal memory having a store of some sort on their smartphone app to actually be able to have useful filters. We all know Instagram is a very popular site to upload photography. So having filters that would be very useful to a platform like Instagram, in other words, you can look at the categories in Instagram and then have filters specifically for those categories would be something that would be very useful for a camera like this. This is something that I wish they would expand upon because if they're going to go through the trouble of having two advanced filters on this dial, then at least have the capability of expanding different types of filters either to third parties where they can build filters for you or having a team that's constantly expanding the different types of advanced filters that you can put on the camera. There just simply isn't enough of them and they're not really useful because the filters themselves don't really apply to things that you would see out on social media platforms. We really have a disconnect here when it comes to these filters, right? You want these filters to be directly related to things that are possible popular on the internet or social media platforms and I don't really see a connect there so that's something that they could really work upon so if you're a person that owns an XT30 and you like the concept of advanced filters what I would really recommend you do is you go ahead and send an email to Fujifilms saying that they should really flush out their advanced filters being able to apply new ones so that's the only thing that I really want to talk about before wrapping up this video hopefully that helped you out if you have any questions leave in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video